Hi, Pastor Nan Schreer here for another episode of When Life Geeks You Lemons, You Make Lemonade. Oh, you know what I mean. This is December 1st, and it is the start of many Advent calendars. Um, in our house, we've got a Advent calendar for almost every person in the house, and they're different ones. One's little puzzles that you put together, and my daughter has one that's marking things with her pregnancy because she's expecting her first child and, and and things like that so we have a lot of different ones we also have one where you just kind of change the blocks and my favorite advent calendar is the one where we watch a santa video literally there are 25 santa videos you watch one a day from the first of december to christmas yeah i'm a little kid and i never grew up well, my Advent calendar this year was given to me by my friend Kimba, and she knows that my nickname growing up was Ducks, and she's always been a big supporter of giving me rubber ducks. And so this year she gave me this Advent calendar of cute characters dressed in festive styles, 24 days of quacky fun. This is not a paid advertisement. This was a gift from a friend. Now, in this was the ducky today. Isn't he cute? He got his little Elmer Fudd hat, and he's got his little scarf on, and this is the first day of December. In the church, as you know, there's Advent candles. This last one that was on Sunday was for light. The candle uh, I was lit. What I meant to say is the candle was lit and the theme was hope. I hope this goes right. I hope that goes right. My pastor, Pastor Carl, he talked about the fact that we say I hope a lot. But do we really understand what hope is? Hope is something that you believe in. You can't see the evidence of. You hope or wish or want this to happen. You believe it will happen. You hope it will happen. And our hope is in Jesus Christ because he saved us. <clears throat> now to the lemonade and lemon situation. This week I was dealt a major blow. I kind of knew it was coming. I'd been warned years ago that this situation might occur. Um, I just didn't think it would be when I was so young. I'm only 63 after all. But I have a, a spinal situation that is going to make it where I need to be on a walker and be in pain of some sort a lot of the time. I am not um, number one, a patient person. Number two, a person that likes to be waited on hand and foot. I am not one that wishes to sit and be pampered. I tend to be fidgety. That's the word my husband likes to use because I get up and I do this and I do that and I do that. Well, I dislike the idea of having a walker. I really do. I mean, the the very holier-than-thou Christian in me says, but at least you can still walk. Be thankful that you can walk. And I agree with that for the most part. But the human part of me says, why? Oh, why? It's such a burden to have to get, take out the wheel. I've helped so many people because they had struggles with their wheelchair. I'm not decrepit like people ha I've had to help my elders in the past. I'm not, don't feel that old. I don't feel that decrepit. Well, I was complaining about this to everybody, including my granddaughter. My granddaughter, Ariana, is 23 years old now. Um, so far, my only grandchild. There will be another in the future. But um, she says, Grandma, all you gotta do is treat your walker like you do your hats and your socks. And I thought about it. You see, you notice today I'm wearing my band leader's hat, nutcracker hat. I have approximately 25 Christmas headbands that have been given to me, 
and probably another 10 Christmas hats plus Christmas earmuffs. I also have 15 pairs of Christmas socks. I also, I also have Christmas shirts on. They can't see it, but I'm wearing a shirt of a cat wrapped up in Christmas lights. Um, I love Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. It was the time my mom and I did most things together. And so I was discussing Walker with Ariana, and I said, you mean dress it up? And she goes, yeah. I said, well, I put Christmas lights on it. She said, that's a start. But you know what you really need? I said, what do I need, Ari? You need to get one of those Randolph kit, Rudolph kits. You know, with the big red nose, you can put it in front of your walker, and then you can put the antlers on either side, and you can tell everybody Rudolph's driving you around this winter. And I started to laugh. And that was the first step. Yeah, I'm still frustrated. Yes, I have more tests that have to be done before treatments can start. And there's a mix-up with the medication, and i got to get that straightened. But I'm beginning to understand that this is the lemon I was given, spending the rest of my days on a walker. And where it's true, I should be thankful I can walk. Sometimes we know it in our minds, but it's hard to feel in our heart or vice versa. But the idea of decorating my walker and making it an accessory put a smile on my face. The same friend that gave me the ducks. First thing she did when I was told I needed to be on a walker was go buy me walker lights. So they're already on there. So it's a gradual step. Nobody says it's easy to make lemonade out of lemons. It's not like Minute Maid, where you dump the can, add the water stir, and you're done. Sometimes making lemonade out of the lemons you're given is a process. And you need to be in touch with your emotions, and you need to be in touch with your Savior. You need to talk with God. You know what? God's got really big shoulders and he'll take the biggest lemon you got and carry it for you and start the process of making the lemonade. No, I will never be thrilled to be on a walker. And when the time comes years down the road that I might have to go to a wheelchair, I definitely will not be thrilled with that. But right now, I'm gonna enjoy my lemonade and decorate my walker and be thankful that I can walk and to think of all the smiles and opportunities I'll have to talk to people about the love of Christ when they ask me about my walker. This week is the first week of December. Christmas will be here before you know it. Take each day and love it. Take each day and if you find out you got lemons, start the process for lemonade. Let me pray with you right now. Dear Heavenly Parent, I thank you for the fact that you have the broad shoulders. I thank you for giving me a husband that handles everything that I can't. And then a daughter that, that loves me and a daughter in heaven that's watching over me. Lord, I pray you be with everyone who watches this and help them make their lemons into lemonade. Help those in the war on countries, for the people that were caught in the tornadoes in the south and the blizzards in the north. We just pray that you will help everyone find a way to find peace and make lemonade. I pray this all in your son's name. Amen. Well, things to do, decorations to put up. We have a Christmas party this weekend, so that'll give me, not, give me time to decorate the walker a little bit and show it off. So I think I know my recipe for lemonade this week. What's yours? God bless you, and we'll see you next time. This is Pastor Nan. Make lemonade from lemons. <music>